Good morning, my dear students. Let's start with our physics lecture. In the last video, we have discussed about the magnetism. Yes or no? I have told you the discovery of the magnet, how the magnet was discovered. Then we have discussed about the natural and artificial magnet. Then we have discussed the material which attracts the magnet. They are called as a magnetic material while the material which do not attract towards a magnet it is called as a non-magnetic material for example if you will take a scale plastic scale whether it will attract towards a magnet no it will not because it does not contain the property of a magnet are you getting so this we have discussed in the last video let's start today's video we are going to do in today's video we are going to do one activity i hope you all enjoy the activity yes or no so let's start with our activity so which activity we are going to do do you know we are going to do to prepare the we are going to prepare the magnet so let's start to make a magnet so first thing is that we are we are going to make a magnet so let's start to do the magnet so things required so the things required for making the magnet is one iron strip which always attract towards a magnet then we require a magnet then iron filling so what things you have to do suppose now you can see this is a bar magnet which kind of a magnet this is a bar magnet this is a bar magnet so if you will see there are the two poles that this is n and s it is given so what is this n means north pole while s is a south pole so this is an iron strip what we have to do now we are going to make this as a magnet this is a iron strip so we are going to make this as a magnet we'll rub this see you have to take one of the one of the end of the magnet and you have to just from suppose this is a and this is a b side so you have to rub for 20 to 30 times you have to rub this 20 to 30 times and when you will come to this end you have to lift it up and again you have to rub it from the a to b you have to rub it for 20 to 30 times and these are the iron filling the which are these are the iron filling which will help it to attract can you see the attraction so this is behaving as a magnet this is behaving as a magnet see the iron fillings are attracted towards the iron strip yes or no so this is behaving like a magnet are you getting so we have prepared this as a magnet are you getting I hope you all have enjoyed the activity of making the magnet. So let's start the next point that is properties of a magnet. We are going to start the next point that is properties of the magnet. So what are the properties of the magnet? The first is attractive property. Now what is meant by the attractive property? The magnet which attracts the magnet. Uh, the the material to which the magnets are attracted now this is the iron strip now you can see it can get easily attracted yes or no so this property is called as a attractive property this property is called as a attractive property see this is an iron strip once again as it get attracted towards the magnet the material which attract towards the magnet that property is called as a attractive property are you getting this that property is called as a attractive property the next is directive property this directive property already we have discussed in the last video what is that can you just tell me see the chinese the chinese they have found that a stone which was they name as a lodestone they used to find the direction 
they they used to find the direction so that property when a magnet uh, when a magnet shows the direction that pro that property is called as a directive property that property is called as a directive property for example if you will tie if you will tie a thread to this bar magnet and if you will twist this bar magnet for a while and after that after some times you can see when the magnet will get at a rest position when the magnet will get at a rest position it will sub suspend in the north south direction it will always suspend in the north south direction so that property is called as a directive property when a magnet shows the direction that property is called as a directive property for example you might have seen in the some compass in my you might have seen in the compass they are showing the direction there is one needle which always moves which always shows the direction so that in that which property is there obviously the directive property the directive property it possesses the directive property the next property is attraction and repulsion now what is that see if this are the two bar magnet can you see this are the two bar magnets in this if you will see there are the two poles which are written on this that is north and south and here also it is written n and s that is north and south in this always there is one thing that opposite charges means what the south and north will always get attracted you can see the north and south will always get attracted it will get always attracted but means unlike force or unlike um unlike directions they will get attracted while like direction now if i will try for the south south whether it will get attracted no they will not get attracted they will repel each other they will move from each other so that property is called as a repulsion that property is called as a repulsion one more thing i would like to tell you in the for the practical for the practical exam in the last year they gave the two magnets all of the they gave the bar magnet they gave the bar magnet two in that two were bar magnet and one it was of the iron strip it was a iron strip which uh, in that they were uh, they wrapped all of them three this a b c were wrapped and it was given a b c and they asked they asked which of them the among the three two are the magnets you have to just recognize or you have to just conclude which two are the magnet are you getting in the last practical area uh, practical exam the they gave one thing that they gave the three wrap magnets or a two in that among that two were the bar, uh, two were the magnet and one it was of iron they three of them were same three of them the weight was same so it was very difficult for the students to recognize which type of uh, which are the two magnets and which are uh, which one of them is the iron strip for this you can do one activity see if suppose that these three things are there these are the two magnets and one is a iron strip okay then what exactly you have to do first you have to check what exactly you have to do now you know in that as it is wrapped we are unable to identify the direction which type of the direction is there first you have to check you have to see, you have to take one mag uh, one strip you have to check whether yes it is getting attracted now if you will see whether it is getting attracted no it is repelling means in this one of them means one of this is a magnet so now you will take this it is getting attracted okay now you will check for the another it is getting attracted are you getting so you might be thinking that one of this or this may be the 
iron strip am i right or this may be similarly you have to check for all of this now you will take the second you will check for this yes it is getting attracted here also it is getting the attracted it means this is an iron strip are you getting so like that we can perform the activity and we can recognize which type of the magnet it is so attraction and repulsion what is meant by the attraction when the suppose this north and south if the here it is north and south if these two comes together if these two points come together then it will it will get attracted these two magnets will get attracted while if while if if we will take your south and north then south south then as these are the like for like poles it will not get attracted it will repel each other it will move away from each other are you getting this are the properties of attraction and repulsion of a magnet then the next property is poles of the magnet always exits in a pair means now suppose this is a magnet if i will break this magnet suppose if i will take a magnet suppose this is a bar magnet north and south if i will break this magnet into the two equal parts then here you will get two parts this will this will work as a north pole while this point will work as a south pole similarly this point will work as a north pole this point point will work as this end it will work as a south pole if again if i will divide this into the two equal parts then see if i will uh, divide this two in two uh if i will divide this magnet into the two equal part again this will uh, exits a north pole and this will exits a south pole north south are you getting means if you will break the magnet into the two parts the poles of the magnet always exits in a pair are you getting so these are the properties of a magnet these are the properties of the magnet i hope you have understood it one second i will just revise the properties of the magnet the first is attractive property the attractive property means what the magnet which attracts the material to which the magnet get attracted that property is called as a attractive property are you getting then next is the directive the magnet which always shows the direction the magnet always shows the direction it always shows the north and south direction am i right so that property is called as a directive property then the third is attraction and repulsion attraction and repulsion the attraction property means what if the two poles of the magnet if the two unlike pole or the two different poles come together it get attracted if north and south will get attracted why like poles when come together it will repel each other if you if you want to join the north and uh, north and north north and north then it will not it will not join it will repel it will move away from it so that property is called as a repulsion property then poles of the magnet always exits in a pair they always exits in a pair if you will cut the magnet into the two part it will it will be always exits it will show the two property that is north and south the, it will shows the two poles that is north and south are you getting so these are the properties of the magnet so students today's work will be that you have to recall all the properties of the magnet and write in your physics notebook i hope you have understood it thank you